Hello, and welcome to another episode of Crystal Uncorked. Today, we are talking about the power of giving yourself time to think, as well as thinking in different new environments and locations. I have a few examples of how this has worked really well for me. And it's also something that I'm continuing to try to do more of. So let's dive in to this episode. Hello, I'm Crystal Vilkaitis. I'm a curious wine loving entrepreneur who loves to learn and have open and honest conversations. Join me and my amazing guests as we talk about all sorts of relatable business and life stuff. It's my goal that you'll have fun, learn something new, and get inspired. Wine is not required, but is recommended. This is Crystal Uncorked. All right, so what I am drinking today is actually from my Costco uh, advent calendar that I got in December. Yes, I mentioned on an earlier episode that I don't drink a lot of white wine. This is a white wine because it's a little hotter today. You know, as we are approaching summer, I definitely drink more whites in the summertime. And I'm filming this a little bit earlier, more afternoon. And so I feel like a red wine isn't the right choice for um, filming earlier. I also have my first acupuncture appointment today. I'm not going to drink a ton before that. I feel like that's not a great idea. I'm not going to I typically don't drink a ton anyways, but I'm just saying like, I feel like it's not good to drink before acupuncture. So I'm going to have a few sips of this and then see how I feel after, but I'm going to taste this. I haven't tasted this yet. I don't even know what this is or what this means because um, I'm going to butcher this. It's a product of Spain, but it says Maccabeo, Maccabeo, man, I, I don't know if that might be a blend or a type of wine. I'm going to have to do actually a little research on that. I should have researched it before diving in here, but I was so excited to film this episode. So, um, but I just want to say, like I said, this was in my Costco advent calendar box that I got. And, um, somebody that I'm friends with, Kevin recommended that I do wine tastings all from Costco. And I think that that's kind of a fun idea because a lot of what I have tasted has been from Costco. So if you like Kevin's idea, will you let me know and DM me? Um, Okay, so let's take a sip of this, see how we like it. Oh, okay. Yep. Super smooth, refreshing, crisp, um, almost citrusy. I like it. I think I would buy a bottle of that. Nice. A little dry. Dry on the uh, after. The, the, I want to say the back of the tongue kind of, um, but that's good. That's very refreshing. Okay. I forgot to cheers you. Cheers. Okay. So, um, before I dive into talking about giving yourself some space and time, I just want to mention that, uh, you know, this is a new podcast, obviously crystal uncorked, and I am going to try to make this episode a little shorter to test, to see how my audience likes a shorter episode. So if you will do me a favor and after this episode is done, if you'll let me know over on Instagram by DMing me, if you like this length, or if you didn't really notice a big difference there, and that doesn't matter too much to you. I would love your feedback. Okay. So yesterday, Dustin and I went to Disneyland. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. We celebrated 11 years together. We met 11 years ago, which is just so crazy. Where is time gone? And one of our most favorite things to do is to go to Disneyland. And thankfully they just opened to California residents on Friday, um, April 30th. So we went on Monday, May 3rd, and just barely were able to get in there. I'm so happy. So we were able to just be big kids like we love doing and go see Mickey and friends. And it was a really magical experience. It was at 25% capacity. So it felt like we had the parks to ourselves. And, um, while I was at the park, you know, or or actually driving to Disneyland, Dustin and I were listening to this book called a more beautiful question by Warren Berger. And it was really a perfect book choice as we were driving to Disneyland because every almost every time, not every time, but almost every time that I go to Disney, I either have like an 
aha moment. Um, I get an answer to a question I've been searching for, like, I don't know how to deal with something or I'm looking for the answer. And all of a sudden it makes sense when I'm at Disney or I'll get a new creative idea for my business. And so, and I know why this happens. It's because I'm one in a new environment and, um, that's like, that's fun and free. And I am just like fully playful and just like letting my imagination run wild. And I'm also thoughtful, you know, when you're walking from ride to ride or you're sitting there and you're having something to eat or drink, um, you're just thoughtful. And so when you're in the park, for me, I think a little differently and I ask questions differently to get different answers. And I have more of this imagination because I'm surrounded by princesses and characters and little kids laughing, dressed up in costumes. And it's just really fun and playful. So um, this book, A More Beautiful Question that we were l driving to and listening to is all about asking better questions. And he, sh he said, we don't know all the possibilities because we don't give ourselves enough time to think. And when he said that, I was like, oh man, that is so good. And I think is so true because we live in this really fast paced environment where so much is going on that we just kind of make a decision really quick to move on to the next and go, go, go. We don't have the time to really think things through or ask different questions or think of it in a different perspective to come up with different answers. But what ends up happening when we do that, not all the time, but what can happen is we maybe pick the wrong, you know, step forward, the wrong answer, the wrong solution. It maybe takes us longer to get there. It's more painful. Um, you know, it's just not right. It's not really what's aligned with us. And so, you know, if we had that space and time to think, we would come up with better questions, which gives us better answers. And he shared the story of a software exec who went to Hawaii on vacation to get away, to think, and he was swimming with the dolphins in the Pacific Ocean. And all of a sudden, he was asking better and different questions that came up to a solution, which was an entirely new business that then generated millions of dollars and was wildly successful. It might have even been billions of dollars. I was driving, so and I know exactly where I was on the road when I was listening to this. Um, and someone was driving kind of crazy, so I was watching them and listening. So I don't remember exact details. Was it millions or billions? All I know is that this software exec may he asked a better question because he was in a new environment. He had space. He was just out there swimming with the dolphins and it led him to an entirely new business that was very successful and very smart and is helping thousands of people today. So that when that um, example was on, Dustin's like, duh, because he has been talking about going on kind of a sabbatical, like getting away and giving himself some time to think. He's been saying this a lot lately and um, he loves Hawaii too. So he's like, duh, yeah, I want to go snorkel and swim with dolphins and have time to think. I mean, honestly, who wouldn't, right? But he, for him, like, we had this experience when we went to Italy and lived there for a month. We talked about that on episode three when Dustin was on the show. And that experience for him to just have that space and being in a new place and a new environment really allowed him to think differently about his businesses and helped him make some serious progress moving in a direction he was really excited about and just found this new energy and life force from having that time to think and being in a different location. And, um, so now he's, he's at this new place in his life where he's really feeling like he needs that again and he needs to get away. And I think that is great. I think if we could all do that, have some space, time, new environment, I wonder what our lives would look like, right? What the world would look like. Um, but it's not always easy to have that. We don't always have that luxury right? Like there's kids, there's pets, there's jobs, there's money, there's when do you find the time? All these things, these reasons we can't get away for a little bit and have some time to think. But for me, what I've been doing lately 
is blocking about 90 minutes a week. And I go outside in my backyard because it's a different location. It's not in my office. It's not in my living room. It's a different location. And I do not have my cell phone or computer with me. I bring out my notebook and my pen and I start journaling and I start asking questions and then I respond, I, I write the answer down and then I ask a question based off of the answer. And it's just a different type of question to really push myself to get different answers. And so that has been, I've only just started this a few weeks ago and that has been really helpful for me of finding clarity of what I really want and what I see my future being and steps to take. Like, I really feel like we have most of the answers within. We just don't give ourselves the time and space to ask the questions, to find the answers that are right for us. And we'll often like call friends or family or, you know, support groups or whoever, you know, masterminds and ask them those questions. And that can be great to get their feedback too. But it's also really great to get your own feedback and to really look within and ask those questions and sometimes let those ideas bake for a while, right? We need some time to do that. So I think that it's so critical we have this space. So what I'm sharing this because, yeah, you might not have the luxury to go on a trip in the sabbatical and, and get away, you know, not even I said a month for Italy it could be a weekend trip. It could be a one night free day. You're in a hotel. You just check out to give yourself that time and space. But even if you can't do that, can you block 60 to 90 minutes a week and ask different questions? If you're feeling at all stuck in your life, or maybe you don't have the kind of fulfillment that you're wanting or the joy that you're wanting or something feels off. I really, what I'm learning through my own experience is that when you take the time and ask yourself questions, you can get closer to what it is that you're missing or um, what the next step you need to take is. Because sometimes that's all we really know is just that next step. We can't figure out the whole game plan, all you know, the whole map until we've taken that next step. Then we get more information to keep going. You know, when, with this book, one thing that the author was talking about was kids and the questions they ask and how wonderful their minds work because they don't have limitations. They, he shared about a study where they had two groups of adults and they had to come up with some new ideas for a problem and um, some ideas and solutions. And so one group, they said, here's your challenge, but pretend like you're seven years old coming up with these ideas. And the other group, they didn't tell them that. It was just like, be you and come up with some ideas. And as you can imagine, the group of seven-year-olds came up with really unique, fresh ideas. And that's because they used their imagination. They didn't have those limitations, right? It's so freeing to sit down and pretend like, okay, what if I was a little kid and I'm just going to go crazy. I'm just going to have all these crazy ideas and just let my imagination run wild. Are you going to come up with some crazy stuff that's like not realistic or practical and it's just bizarre? Probably. But could you also gain a new perspective, a new way of doing things, something that's fresh, unique, that maybe you're like, wait a second, there's something to this. And you go a little bit further and create something entirely new that you never even thought of before. I think that we can do that when we don't have those limitations. We move into our imagination, but we do have to give ourselves that time and space to do it. And that's the sad part is that we don't give ourselves time, right? Like we give everybody else time. Our, our bosses, our coworkers, our spouses, our friends, our family, kids, everybody else gets our time and we rarely are giving ourselves any kind of time. And so I think it's so important to have that, you know, self-care and part of that is thinking and just asking questions and journaling and connecting within. I think that we're capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit for. And it starts with really reflection within and asking those questions and having the time and space. And I think, you know, going back to Disneyland for me, that's where I'm surrounded by all these kids and upbeat music and it's so magical. So I can be a little bit more imaginative. Like I was just saying, 
like the author was saying with kids and they're not as limited. So that it's easier for me to get these answers and ideas in that environment. So I hope that you spend some time, uh, you know, blocking that into your schedule, if it could be a consistent thing for you. But even if, you know, you just feel like you need to take one, one, one block on your schedule within the next week or two to just give back to yourself and think and write and ask questions, ask more questions and ask more questions to maybe help unblock or get some clarity on something. I highly recommend doing that and in an environment that's new or different with pen and paper and no technology. And try to be a kid. What if you did all of that as a seven-year-old? What kinds of ideas and things would you come up with? All right, so I hope you found this episode helpful. And like I said, it's a shorter one, so I would love to get your feedback if you liked this shorter episode or if you don't care too much as uh, with length. If you just care more about the content. So um, cheers one last time to my white Costco wine. That's pretty darn good that I don't know the name of. <laughs> I don't know how to say the name. And uh, I will see you on the next see you. Bye. Thank you so much for listening. Are you on Instagram? I'd love to see pictures of you listening to the show, a screenshot of your favorite episode and or your favorite wines. Share them with me. Just follow and tag at Crystal Uncorked. I can't wait to see you there. All right. I'll see you on the next see you.